Hi, welcome to Auto Tempo. Today we're introducing our newest version of the Tesla system for 2013 to 2022 Dodge Ram. In this in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the system and the feature that come with the system as well. Okay, this is actually direct fit to the original dash. There's no modification, no cutting wires required. Also fully compatible with the original steering wheel control, original backup camera, original exhaust brake, tow hole button. All those kind of feature will be fully compatible, as you can see. Right. And the resolution of the screen actually is very nice, okay? And the system also comes the 8GB of the RAM and 128GB of the storage memory. So it's very, very fast and smooth, okay? And of course, this one also supports the radio as well. I'm going to show you step by step how to use the system. This system comes with the um, manual climate control. As you can see, the most important part of this system is retain the original climate control. So. In the future, whenever um, anything goes wrong with the unit, you don't need to worry because you can still control the temperature, right? And some of the trucks, they also come with the trailer brake, okay? If your car comes with the trailer brake, you will be installed here, okay? You will uh, install the trailer brake right here, so you don't need to worry about uh, losing this feature, right? So let's start from the navigation first, okay? This navigation, this system uh, comes with the wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also use the newest generation of the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. That means the system also support the 4G LTE. What that means, that means if you have an extra SIM card, you can insert to the unit, you can access to the internet without connecting to the Wi-Fi hotspot of the cell phone. This is very useful, okay, when you go for a road trip, right? So let's start from the navigation first. This version of Google may also provide with the off night feature. How to use the off night feature of the Google Map? Basically, just click on the icon right here, off night map, and then you can uh, select your own map. You can download the map data in your area to the unit, right? So next time when you use the Google Map, you do not need to connect to Wi-Fi anymore because the map data has already been saved in the unit, right? Other than the Google Map, of course, you can download any different kind of navigation software like the Waze, right? The Waze, um, actually, as you can see, is very nice, right? So, uh, electric vehicle, okay. So basically, the system actually is very fast, okay. So, as you can see, okay. Other than that, of course, you can download another navigation software, okay. How to use the navigation software for this one? Just click on the bottom right corner here, new road address, and then you can enter the address right here. It's very nice, right? So, of course, you also support the radio, as you can see. <laughs> This system also um, compatible with the RCA output. That means you can also connect the aftermarket amplifier or subwoofer to the unit as well. This system also come, come with the recognizer, as you can see. It provides with many different features um, to address the sound quality based on your personal preference, right? If anything goes wrong, you just need to click on reset and then you will just uh, go back to the fresh default. Okay, other than that, of course, you, um, the, the system uh, also comes with the, um, if your car comes with the Alpine sound system, the system is fully compatible as well. As you can see, also fully compatible with all the original features, okay? Of course, if your car does not come with this feature, it won't work, okay? But you will show here, right? Move all the way down to the bottom. As you can see, you can adjust the base level, okay? The travel and also the surround sound system, anything, all right? So it's very nice, all right? Okay, and radio, I'm gonna show you a little bit on the radio here. Okay, so you can see it sound much better, okay? In order to save the channel, just click on here, and then just hold this icon, and then you will save the channel here, all right? It's very nice, right? So of course, um, this system also support the Wi-Fi as I mentioned, okay? Once you connect to the Wi-Fi, you can use all those kind of application right here. How to connect to the Wi-Fi? Just pull down the menu from the top, hold the Wi-Fi icon here, turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot on the cell phone, and then you can connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, let's try. If you have the Netflix account, you can also log into the Netflix. The system also come with a video in motion, okay? That means the passenger will be able to uh, enjoy the video on the road trip, of course, not for the driver. The driver better to focus on driving, right? 
okay of course you also support instagram you can download basically any application to the unit all right from the google app store okay so you can log in okay other than that of course you can also uh, download the youtube okay this is the youtube right here all right okay and other than the youtube of course you can download um the movie to the usb or maybe you can also transfer the video file to the unit okay so basically you just need to okay on here let's try it it also support the full screen mode, okay? Pump the necessary shock to the system. I am human evolutionary change. Bulletproof. Super. As you can see, okay, when you play the video, you will support the full screen mode, okay? So as you can see, the system, um, you will automatically switch to full screen. You also support the split screen feature. How to use the split screen feature? Click on this one, okay? Click on this icon, click on the icon right here, split screen, okay? And then you can see, or maybe I want to use the, um, uh, the Google Map, okay? Let's say Google Map, okay? As you can see. So right now, you have... As you can see, you can use the Google Map and the video at the same time all right i'm gonna turn off the google map uh the split screen feature here. okay other than that of course you i'm gonna show you a little bit on the setting menu okay just click on the setting right here the system comes with two built-in interface okay so basically uh when you click on this one this is the classic style of course this system also comes with the modern style right here okay how it looks like let's check it out okay click on the home button right here and then you can see the whole interface change okay of course you can relocate all the icon okay it's fully customized okay so it's just like a tablet all right but I prefer the classic mode, all right? You also um, come with the daytime and nighttime mode, okay? So in order to change the nighttime mode, by default, it will set to auto, okay? Nighttime mode is, uh, will change everything to black, okay? A lot of people, they will prefer the black mode, okay? So, um, but in order to um, let you see clearly on the video, I'm gonna change it back to daytime mode, all right? Okay, as you can see, you also change the, um, uh, you can also change the, um, the temperature unit okay how to change the temperature unit basically just go to the console right here car setting here and then you can change the there's a lot of feature temperature unit right here right all right so other than that of course you also support the weather mode okay you also support the youtube or youtube music all right and then go back to the setting menu right here okay so other than that, you can also go to audio. Audio it also comes the ignizer. I just described this mode. Okay, you can change all these kind of settings based on your personal preference. Of course, it also comes the sound gain. What that means you will also able to allow uh, to, to control the different audio output on every single specific application, like the radio, music, Bluetooth, you know. So it's very, very uh, fully customized. If you're concerned about the safety, you can turn off the video in motion. Okay, that means um, uh, you won't be able to watch the movie. Okay, if you turn off this feature, user, you will allow you to customize a lot of application on the system. Okay, for example, you can set up the default navigation software like the Google Map, Waze, okay, and any other different kind of uh, navigation, right? And uh, of course, you can change the boot up logo as well. App customize, that means you will allow you to customize the icon on the main menu, one, two, three, four, five. For example, I want to set up this one to YouTube, then this one on the main menu, this one will set up to YouTube. As you can see, it's very, very nice, all right? And system is right here. You don't need to change anything right here because we will set up the system before we ship out to you. So you do not need to change anything here. The only thing I would like to mention is go to Android setting. You can change the wallpaper under display. Wallpaper, as you can see, you can change the wallpaper here. Okay. And other than that, of course, you can also go to uh, system, time. You can also change the time zone right here leave the lab web provide time on okay and then the lab web provide time zone you can change the time zone from here right so it's very nice okay so you can um, um first of all select your area 
make sure the time match with your area first okay otherwise the wi-fi or google app will not work okay just keep that in mind okay other than that um it's pretty straightforward okay if you uh the system also support the 4g lte uh if you have a uh, sim card you can also connect to the unit okay and then you can also um, see the network right here okay and this system also support the wireless apple carplay what that means um, the system actually uses the Bluetooth to pair at the beginning but once it gets paired, it will automatically switch to the Wi-Fi at the background so basically wireless Apple CarPlay, they use Wi-Fi how to connect to the wireless Apple CarPlay is pretty straightforward okay, just go to here uh, Apple CarPlay, just go to uh, Bluetooth okay, phone call alright and then click on this icon okay, go to your cell phone search this Bluetooth device name GT6-BT6127 it will change according to the unit okay and then click on pair allow pay attention to the cell phone the system will automatically switch to the Apple CarPlay for the first time it might take a little bit longer to pair but once you get paired you just need to leave it okay every time when you jump into the car the system will automatically connect to your cell phone for apple carplay this is the apple carplay right here as you can see it's very nice okay you also provide with the phone call music navigation all these kind of features okay you can also check the message okay okay how to use the navigation kit on this one just from your cell phone all right and of course car auto bring it back okay and then go back to the split screen here the apple carplay also provide you with the voice control how to use the voice control hold the icon right here bring me to the gas station one possibility is so on kennedy road in markham a little over a kilometer to your east and it gets two point What's the temperature today? The high today will be 19 degrees Celsius and the low will be 8 degrees Celsius. Such a nice weather today, okay? As you can see, it's very nice, okay? In order to go back to the original menu, just click on exit and then it will bring you back to the original menu, okay? We also carry another model for the automatic climate control. If you cannot identify the model of your vehicle, please contact us. We will be more than happy to assist you. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.